Hey everyone, I'm here to dive into the intriguing world of research, but not just any research. Today, we're exploring the riveting battlefield where practical solutions and theoretical insights clash. Let's get right into it. In the world of research, there are two primary camps, applied research and fundamental research. So what sets them apart? Well, it's all about their goals and impacts. Applied research is like the superhero of the research world. It's all about action. This type of research seeks to solve immediate problems facing society or industries. Whether it's developing a new technology or finding ways to improve health, applied research aims to make a tangible difference quickly. It's focused, it's specific, and most importantly, it's geared towards finding solutions that can be implemented right away. On the other side of the spectrum, we have fundamental research. This is the dreamer of the two. Fundamental research dives deep into the basic principles of the universe. It's not necessarily about solving today's problems, but about understanding the underlying forces at play. From exploring quantum mechanics to studying human behavior, fundamental research broadens our knowledge base and opens up new realms of possibilities. It's like planting seeds that might one day grow into the solutions of future problems. Each type of research plays a crucial role in pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can do. Applied research might give us quick solutions, but fundamental research provides the fertile ground for revolutionary ideas and technologies that define future generations. So, next time you come across a piece of research, ask yourself, is it aiming for immediate impact or is it setting the stage for a future breakthrough? Remember, whether it's practical solutions or theoretical insights, each has its value in the grand tapestry of human knowledge. Thanks for joining me in this exploration of the battle of research. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep learning.